So now it's time to create a dedicated backend server for our Mern stack application. So we're going to close all of this out. Let's go and maximize the screen and let's go and put this in, uh, you know, close all. And we're going to go here and we're going to go here and we're going to create a separate folder here. So over here, right after in the root folder, you could just create another folder and call it server. Okay. And in here, what you want to do is you want to basically open up your CMD. So essentially we have one that's running on the client end and you want to split it. So you could just say no, uh, just leave it on. Um, so right now, you know, you could see that the client is off, but you could go in here in the server. So basically you're in the server now and this is the client. Okay. So what you want to do here, you want to do is npm init hyphen y. This would uh, create your package.json file. So right here, you'll see the package.json. Here you could see the name is server, the version and index.js and all that looks good. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to actually create an index.js file inside here. So what we want to do is just create one file here and we'll call it as index.js. Okay, and right in here, what you want to do is you want to basically, you could just uh, do anything you want. Suppose you wanted to say hello mm, world and I just typed in this and you want to run this, right? So you basically say node and then you could say index.js. This would run it. But the thing is we want to uh, have package.js on to run it. So what we want to do is you want to basically have serve and then you want to have, a, uh, you know, you basically want to have um, node and then we want to have index.js here. So this is the way we're going to go through it. If I do CLS and I say, um, now if I just say serve, so it's npm serve, npm run serve, if I do this, You'd see that package uh, hello world now works through our package.json that's amazing so it's basically calling that and it runs this file which is great but now what we want to do is we want to go into our uh, index.js and we want to add in a framework which is going to be used uh, for our uh, backend which is called express so if i do express like this it's installing it in the meantime let's go into the website and let's go to this website and over here, what we're going to do is we're going to type in Express. Okay, this is the best website for all the NPM JS things. And you could go here fast on opinion and minimalistic web framework. This is for, um, you know, our backend. And you can see over here, what we could do is we could just install it using this NPM I Express that we already did. But if we go here, you could see this uh, two lines of code. Let's just copy this all. Uh, and uh, let's go back here and basically paste it right here. So now we have Express from Express and we have app and, and that is express. So now over here, what we want to do is we essentially want to uh, have it uh, do some kind of console log. So we could actually initialize it. So this is initializing the express app. And what you want to do right after that is you want to say app dot get. Okay. So app dot get, and you could have slash request and response. And you basically could uh, send a response. So you could say response dot send, and you could say, uh, uh, hello from hello from node API server okay now this is our response okay what we want to see if we want to see this through so okay so that is great uh, right now there's something missing here and that's the round bracket right here so this had to be there um, other than that I mean it looks looks good um, and we could basically run it so let's run our application again so npm I so basically it's npm run serve if you look into it, uh, it's running, but we have no idea if it's running or not. So that's why we want app dot uh, listen. We want it on port three thousand, and we want to say, you know, we basically want console uh, server is running on port three thousand. If we have this part, uh, this is going to be really good because we want the app to listen here. So what we could do is we could just bring this alt and down over here. And also there's a missing round bracket. So that is closed here. Okay. So now what we have is server is running on port 3000. Let's refresh this again. And now let's run serve and you can see now it's running. If we visit this, uh, localhost, so localhost port 3000, this is where our express server is going to be. And you can see hello from node API server. Now the problem with this is that whenever I make a change in here, it's going to constantly require me to restart my server. So suppose if I say uh, response.send and, you know, I put um, instead of two, one, three different exclamations, it's not going to reflect until I have to manually do that again and again. So that's not good. So what we want to do is we want to use another package that's going to allow us 
to uh, you know basically restart our server every time and that's called nodemon search it and when you search it this is going to be the first one which is right here uh, simple monitor script for use during development and what you want to do is you want to install it so um, first of all we're going to install it so let's just uh, turn off our back end only nothing else and uh, we're going to say npm i nodemon and then we have hyphen d okay for development and this is going to install nodemon for us and once we have nodemon installed this is now fantastic what we want to do is we go to the package.json and over here we want to put a comma and we want to say uh, so we want to have dev for development purposes and we have nodemon and then we have the index.js like that okay so that's perfect and what we want to do now is want to restart it so npm run dev now instead of the other one and now you can see um, essentially is running on port 3000 go back here you'll have to refresh it to see the change but whenever I make a change now I would just need to re so you can see whenever I press save it's restarting automatically and uh, it starts the index.js you can see when I just refresh it uh, the, the the things have been reflected so this is fantastic I mean that's really good um, so far really good uh, progress and what we want to do now is uh, we have all of these things in our direction you have this request and response so you can see over here and the request is from the client and response is from the server and that's from our uh, express server and that's what it's saying from nodemon API now we want to connect our database so we're going to connect it in the next step